Hi Pisces, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, I decided to switch up the Element Weekly readings into a bonus reading for every sign monthly. So if you're familiar with my channel, I did a few series uh, where I did a Element check-in every week love life and advice so now it's going to be a monthly bonus reading for every sign on love life and advice so you can leave me a comment below let me know how you like this reading i may be discontinuing the spiritual reading and just focusing on love and general bi-weekly and the bonus reading so that would give you five readings a month so again leave me a comment let me know what you think so let's see what's going on with pisces sun moon rising venus and jupiter at this time so i do say at this time so i do consider all my readings timeless so if you like to go back and watch past readings your playlist links are below in the description box general and love you can check that out as well as how to reach out for personal reading decks i'm using social media um, how to tip or donate or send a gift all that below is in the description box and i'll also pin some of that information to the top comment also in the comment section so pisces welcome in hope everybody's doing well hope you had a great holiday season happy new year let's see what's going on with pisces at this time for this bonus reading in love spirit please thank you so much we get one card for pisces at this time for this bonus reading okay let's see what we have and we have 48 demonstrate love find out what is important to the people you love and act on it and 84 so that's 12 and that's three a three is about working together teamwork collaboration so needing to um demonstrate more love compassionate uh kind of energy between you and your person and on the bottom of the deck here we have nine slow down when you are excited you get ahead of yourself take some time to allow things to unfold so nine is uh, could be that energy of like wanting something very quickly rushing ahead and really really wanting to fight for it um i think you really want to show somebody how much you love them and maybe you're acting in like a reckless way or doing things um that aren't necessary and i feel like you need to slow down just let uh, things unfold naturally between you and your person all right so let's see for pisces so i'm going to clarify after with the tarot as soon as i get all your messages messages out so this is the life portion let's see what's going on for pisces and a quick shout out to all my new subscribers Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal reading, tip, donated, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So all your support really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. So Pisces, let's see what the message is for Pisces in love. And life, I mean life. This is the life portion. But it could be about love. It could be about anything. So we have the 10 of Gabriel. Ask your angels for help. For helpful, helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So that's an energy, Ten of Wands, energy of being overburdened, overworked, uh, overpressured, and needing to release that energy. Tens are about endings, completions. And now we have the Four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So... Four of Cups with the Ten of Wands is feeling very complacent and bored and blah. You know, maybe getting to the point of being just overburdened in life, overworked, overwhelmed. And then it leaves you in the state of just feeling like blah. Like, I'm not happy. I'm not sad. I'm just blah. <laughs> wow, okay. So, let's get... And it's telling you to seek out other possibilities and look for the magic of life. So I think by releasing burdens or energies or overwhelmed energy will help you come out of this um, bored, complacent, not, well, complacent kind of stagnant, bored place. All right, so let's see. 
It's like you don't have any time for you. Constantly, you could be constantly on the go, appeasing everybody else. Let's see. Okay, that one. Lakishma, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So it's telling you everything's going to be fine, whatever that means for you. And then we have Yamanya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So there's a bright future ahead and a golden opportunity if you seize it to walk through that door and uh, leads to a very bright future where everything will be fine because you see the sun behind there, which is the happiest, sun is the happiest card of the deck. So total happiness, joy, fulfillment, success, victory, balance, healing energy, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing. So let's see. And water here also is very, very healing. Going with the flow. All right. As with over here, slow down. So needing to go with the flow with something. So let's see what the slow down and demonstrate love is for Pisces. I do ask Pisces if you're new. You can check out my channel if you like what you see or you like my style, my energy, how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any future readings. You'll get like five readings a month. So if you do, thank you, thank you. Eight of Pentacles. So work wanting to work on something with someone here. Hermit. Somebody may have retreated, uh, held back, gone off on their own. Ten of Rods again. So laying down burdens, heavy energy here. Ooh, okay, so let's see. The moon, that's your energy, Pisces. Oh, okay, let's get all the energy before I read into this. The tower. Shake up, break up, shake down, surprise, epiphany, aha moment. The moon, you know, being illusion, can't see clearly. I feel like there's somebody you really want to work on this with. But somebody may have retreated with that hermit energy because they're not sure. Or you need to go within and find out, you know, what can I do to work this out? What can we do? Like really doing that inner journey soul work. What burdens can I release and lay down that I'm not serving the connection? Maybe things that you're not seeing, that you're not noticing with the moon energy that you need to take that time to reflect upon and realize, oh, now I see this, now I see that. And it hits you like a tower moment, epiphany, like, wow, I didn't realize uh, this was going on or what I was doing was causing this, causing that, these tower moments. So just needing to slow your energy down, let things unfold naturally as much as you want to come into love union maybe with somebody here. You want to really show them how much you love them, care for them, Give them affection. Because you do have the world energy here, which is about closing out chapters and new chapters beginning, new cycles beginning, cycles ending. So I feel like for some of you, uh, this could be ending this energy that is not serving this connection by slowing down your energy, doing not doing things that aren't really necessary. And then that'll be able to bring in this whole new cycle and connection with your person, like a whole new world kind of energy. But there's something here you need to realize uh, that you're not seeing clearly that needs to end in the way you act or something around this person, towards this person. You really need to look from deep within if you really want this to work out as much as you want to work on it with them and you know, quickly and show them how much you love and care. There's still the energy there needing to slow down and let it unfold naturally. So let's see what this 10 of Gabriel and the four of cups, such your energy, king or queen, doesn't matter. So your energy here. Okay. So four of swords. So healing, retreating, recuperating kind of energy. So we've got two fours here. All right, so let's see what else. Now the Queen of Swords. So divine energy is stepping in here about something. 
something that may, I feel, needs to come to an end that is just overwhelming, overwhelming you, it's burdening you, it's um, not a good energy, and you're just feeling so blah, like you feel tired, you're worn out, you're dragged out, you're feeling sad, lonely, just like blah, there's no time for me, I can't do anything for myself. And the king, you know, the king of cups is someone that kind of holds back. They don't really say what they need to say. So there may be things you really need to say and you're not. Like the four of swords, you just kind of retreat and go off into your own little world. But divine here is shedding the, the sword of clarity here down upon you. It may uh, shed some light onto you in some way. Some truth and clarity. So let's see. Woo. Yeah, I got the two in cups in reverse. So that fell on the floor. So there's some some people around you. I mean, it could be a lover or it could be a friend. It could be family members that you feel like you have to be loyal to because they are your best friend or your family. You know, but the two of cups is about, you know, may not, they may not like whatever it is here that you have to say or do. Because the Two of Cups is about unity, people coming together, peaceful, harmonious, kind of loving energy. So this may not go over well, but it's something I feel like you need to do. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so you could be more stable and grounded. So you can have like a new beginning for yourself. You could be stable once again, moving forward. You know, life flowing much easier for you as with the um, little stream river there being able to just flow effortlessly going with the flow and not being so burdensome and rushed and overwhelmed and being more stable and secure moving forward the pentacles coming in here trying to part the clouds that are that energy that's clouding you so that you can see that flowing energy of the water Emperor, yeah, you need to take control. Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. You need to take control, take charge of this situation. Lay down the heavy burdens. Just tell people, you know, look, I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I can't do that. No more. They may not like it. You may lose friendships, family members. They may not be happy, but it's for your own sanity, your own wealth, your health, your stability. And somehow divine energy will shed that light and that epiphany, that truth onto you somehow. So, I mean, it could be an argument, a spat with somebody over something, and that leads to this whole windfall of this uh, taking place. All right, so what's this bright future and golden opportunity for Pisces? The Queen of Rods, so going after something very passionately, feeling excited, fiery, go-getter kind of energy, drive ambition, going after what you want. So listen to your gut and your intuition about this, your higher knowing, being divinely connected, knowing it's like they're looking at each other. So knowing like this is the right path for me and then taking action on that fiery passion, action movement forward. It's like you see, you see that opportunity coming into you. It's like you seize it and take action. Some sort of opportunity that will lead to a very bright future. It could be... Um, could be anything really so yeah taking a new leap of faith here and there's the bright future right there with the sun energy so resetting at zero taking a leap of faith trusting everything will be fine a new start so now we have the seven of swords energy so it's an energy it can be an energy of like lies theft um not a good energy or you know sneaking away from something Turning your back on something just to have to get away, get out of something. I don't know. Let's get one more. See what's going on here. Eight of Swords. We've got mental entrapment. So so I feel like something comes in for you or you're taking fiery passion and action on a golden opportunity, seizing the moment knowing you know it's for you and wanting to take that leap of faith but yet 
you have still have a little bit of mental blockage about it. Like, should I, shouldn't I? Will it be successful? What if it doesn't work out? So it's like you're deceiving yourself with this Seven of Swords energy it can be about self-deceit. So you're just playing mental mind games in your own head for no reason. No reason because Spirit is saying to take this golden opportunity because it will lead to a very bright future. But yet you're sabotaging your own mind here over this for some of you. So if that's happening, it's telling you to seize it and not sabotage yourself, whatever that means for you. So we have here strength. So again, knowing your strength, being courage, being courageous and brave, having that um, inner determination and willpower to keep fighting on for what you want, making plans, decisions for the future. But make sure your energies are balanced because the Five of Swords can be about that egotistical energy, like getting ahead at all costs, like, oh, look at me, you know, but needing to balance that energy out because you will have your Ten of Cups. You will have your Ten of Cups, total fulfillment and happiness in every single way. You're not going to be waiting much longer because you will be working on this. You won't be waiting much longer to total fulfillment, but juggling around, you know, you know, I, I just got to get ahead at all costs. I don't really care, but need to balance that energy, uh, making plans, decisions for the future, being strong, courageous, and brave, having that willpower and determination moving forward. Wow. Pisces. <laughs> okay. Pisces. So I hope that resonated for you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as, as, as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.